Hello friends, today is Sunday and I have never ever done any of these types of videos on my channel, but um, we're getting ready to go into July and I figured how about I just sit down and do a plan with me video because I do need to plan out this week and the 4th of July is Saturday. So I don't know how festive or if I'm gonna make my weeks layout festive. So um, I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna probably do a voiceover because when I do my um, Sunday planning, I usually play a movie or a TV show in the background and light a candle and just get to it. Hope you enjoy this video and if you haven't already, like and subscribe to the channel and hopefully I can do more videos like this. Okay, I think I am ready to get this party started. I have my remote ready so that I can turn to one of my favorite shows to binge watch when I am planning or just doing some other fun thing at my desk. Now, I like to have cute little dashboards at the beginning of the month and sometimes during the month just to have something um, pleasant to look at. So here's a print that I cut out and laminated and added the holes. And um, this is some scrapbook paper that I also laminated and turned into a dashboard. I used it for June and I'm not ready to stop seeing it. So I'm going to just move it over to the July month. And here is another small dashboard that I created and I just like to have these throughout the, the planner. At the beginning of each month, there are these pages that um, I fill in um, just to get the month going, like the affirmations, my month at a glance. But I usually don't um, cut these little slits in the holes until the month happens. And that's what you see me doing here. This helps me to not have to keep opening up the rings to my planner to preserve them a little bit. And um, since I have been cutting the slits into the holes they the pages go into the planner easily I haven't had any problems with them falling out and getting loose throughout the month so if you have a ring bound planner like this and you don't want your rings to get damaged just cut little slits in them and you can pull the pages out as often as you need to So I'm flipping through these pages and I realized that I have not printed any blank week pages for the month. So um, just for the sake of the video, I am just thumbing through the previous month to see if I have any blank pages that I um, just added to the end of the month and didn't use. And luckily, I was able to save the day by finding two weeks worth of pages so I do have to make a note to myself to print more pages and I print my own planner pages and I only did that because there are certain things that I needed or that I wanted to see with um, planner pages planner inserts so I just print my own and they have been working very fine for me and this is what we're going into month seven and so far so good so that's what you see me doing here is <laughs> searching hard to find some blank pages that i can use so that i can go ahead and plan the upcoming week
Okay, now that I am ready to plan and add the week's happenings, I usually just take the pages out of the planner binder to avoid having the bulkiness underneath while I write and add the fun stickers that I typically decide to use for that week. So um, I like to have my month at a glance in view just in case I have things coming up for that week. I don't have to guess. I can just look and see what I've already recorded and documented. And I go ahead and fill in the day's dates. And as you see right here, I don't know what day I'm planning for. <laughs> so if you are writing in pen in your planner, make sure you have some correction tape because I had to look at these dates again and realize I needed to get it together. Now it's sticker time and I have a lot of stickers, not like some that I have seen on social media, but I have my fair share and I think for me, I have more than enough. But I like to think about the stickers that could make the week pop for me. And I usually pull a few books and I really like the Happy Planner sticker books and um, any, any, pretty much, I'm not sold on just one, but I usually have a few in mind that I like to rotate often, and that's what I'm doing here, and because this is a holiday week, I know for sure that I want to pull um, from one of the seasonal books that I have and see what stickers I could start off with. Now, due to the pandemic, my week does not look like it would typically look like during this week because there are not tons of events that I'm planning. There's not a lot of events at work that I am managing. So usually the stickers make me feel good and you may see me get a little sticker heavy here um, than I probably would and of course this is my first video so you wouldn't know what my <laughs> how how boring my pages will look but I am counting on these stickers to just fill the pages and when I look at it it's not just so black and white so I'm going to add a few stickers to the page and um, see if it inspires me and gets me going for the week so you'll see me fumbling through a few books and then I have my sticker binder that I created that I'll also reference throughout the planning session. So I do know for sure that Tuesday is payday and I 
have a payday sticker that I'm going to add here because that's like a great motivator, right? And um, I know that Tuesday is going to be, you know, activity field. So I'm looking for some other stickers to represent some of the things that need my attention for this particular day. We are in the process of doing some deep cleaning in the home and we have about one good week to make sure that it gets done. So I am going to block off time each day this week and have designated areas that we really focus our attention on. So I am going to use these little chore stickers to um, block off a small section on the day. So we'll know exactly what it is we need to do. And my goal is to have all of this done this week. So I'm going to just fill up um, a small portion of the day with these chore stickers and add in the exact chores. Now, I'm a little hesitant because this is a holiday weekend and I don't think I want to get caught up doing chores when I should be relaxing. So I am going to hit it heavy Monday through Thursday with these chores and try my best to avoid Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And as you'll see later on, I'm going to put that we have a working day on Friday. I go to work and then my husband's catering business will have an event to cater um so i am using some stickers from my own little sticker stash because i need to get my nails done on wednesday so they can be cute for the holiday weekend i found this sticker book at hobby lobby it's the stronger together sticker book and I love all of the togetherness that is in the pages of this little guy and I mean at a time such as this we really need all of the positive images that we can possibly have. Okay, so I sometimes just get stuck on just trying to find the right sticker or the right box to add to the planning pages. So this really can take up quite a bit of time, but I I find joy in it. And if you are also like that, where you just want to find the right sticker before you place it down or move on to the next step, let me know down in the comment box. I certainly cannot be the only one that's like this and there are times where I go back and revisit a sticker book more than one time but um, like I said during these times when our calendars are not as filled I just try to fill the pages with some type of happy So I love to use little boxes like this to jot down notes and to make um, line items for things that need my attention. So since Tuesday is payday, there are certain bills that I like to pay um, just on that day versus the due date. And that would be my car, my savings. I do include that to be a bill and um, a medical payment. So I want to make sure that I do not overlook these and get behind. And then in some of the open spaces, I will just add some of those things that I know are going to occur like work, but um, I just like to use the open spaces to include some, some things so that it can be 
in front of me when the day starts. So I'll know that I have these things going on. This is so annoying when I try to put the sticker down and it gets caught in the wrong place because sometimes once a sticker is there, it is there and I've oh, got to deal with a raggedy looking um, section and I'm sure it's going to bound to happen again before the video is over, but that is so annoying to me. So here I am just now just looking through to see what other stickers I can add. I usually like every day to have something stuck to it <laughs> and that's all I'm doing just to fill the pages because I mean like I, I keep saying there's not too much going on outside of work and you know um, doing things around the house and for fun within um, tishbuller.com or shoptishby.com so I I let the stickers do the talking for most of the, the part and I'm liking how this is turning out and this week um, the girls and I need to start taking our vitamins a little bit more regularly because school will be starting oh there it is. I told you when those stickers get to that page. So now I have to look at that and that's going to bug me. But like I was saying, school is going to start back in August. That is what's being said. And we all need to get our immune systems stronger. So I need daily reminders this week to take our vitamins each day so that we can get back on a routine of doing that. So these little stickers help. And this is a wellness sticker book from Happy Planner. And that's what I'm doing up there. Oh, gosh, that's going to bug me with that one sticker like that. I mean, but what's a girl to do, right? And there's a space at the bottom of the page that I want to fill up. But here's a sticker that is a little too long. So I'm going to use my scissors to trim that because I am going to make it work. And that's what you see me doing right here. And I don't want um, just a lot of empty space down there. So that's a good reminder for the week, wouldn't you say? So the last part that I want to focus my attention on are um, the Bible studies and the online services that I participate in for church. And that's what I'm looking through my sticker book now, just so I'll know, although I'm going to have fun on Sunday, I will start the day off with online services 
And we also have an online Bible study on Wednesday that is live streamed. And I want to just make note of that because I don't want that to slip my mind. That's very important to me. Friends, I thank you so much for taking the time to view my very first plan with me. I hope I get better with this. I absolutely love to do planning sessions, but they're solo because it's just me. This is my first time including friends to see my process. So with that being said, please give this video a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It's free and I'm learning. If you would like more videos like this from me, please let me know down in the comment box. And until next time, have a great day.